everyone, welcome back for another video, and this time it was another rant, it's another Bleach related rant, this was inspired when I watched For Never World's rant about it, actually quite a while, or a few weeks ago actually, I've been meaning to do it before now, but I just haven't had the chance unfortunately, but now I have the chance, so let's get to it. This is my rant and expectations on what characters in the future I think sh should die in Bleach. Die in battle, of course. And this is protagonist. Obviously, obviously all the main enemies are gonna fucking die. N you know, no fucking shit. Okay. No fucking shit. But this is for the main pro or supporting protagonists, I think, should die. Because so far in Bleach, we have had one major death. The head captain, which was in this arc in terms of protagonists. That's the only one, okay? So, yeah. What characters do I think will die? Well, there's a few that I think could possibly die, okay? First off, I want to talk about Renji. Ren... Oh, we've also had, a uh, Chojiro Sasakibe, who was the head captain's lieutenant. He wasn't really a major character, but he was seen here and there throughout the entire series, so I guess you could still technically count him. He he died off off screen. <laughs> okay. And yeah, so anyways, Renji, I know he's one of the biggest fan favorite characters, has been since he was introduced, but I think he's a high if any characters dies, I think he's definitely a high candidate simply because he's been around for so long. I mean, him, Byakuya, or, well, Re Rukia was the first Soul Reaper scene in the series, because she was the first character seen in the scene in the series, technically. Alright, but in terms of other Soul Reapers, you know, Renji and Byakuya showed up before the Soul Society arc even started. You know, before the Soul Society even started. Before you knew about the Soul Society, or well, you knew something of its existence, but you didn't know, really, you didn't really know a whole lot about it then. And then Renji and Byakuya showed up. I think it would be likely if Renji did happen to die. Obviously, if with a character like that, you don't want him to die some stupid, cheap-ass fucking death. You want him to die in battle, fighting his fucking ass off, okay? That's the way you want to see him die. If he happens to die. Now, I, don't partic I wouldn't particularly enjoy seeing his death, because I do like the character a lot. I just think it's likely if he dies, okay? Likely. That's the key word there. Likely. I think it would be really likely if he dies. But be, if he happens to die, I would like him to get another power-up. Like, maybe he has a second form to his Bankai. Or, yeah, a second form to his Bankai. If you remember, Kaname Tosin had two f had two different Shikai, so maybe it's possible that a Soul Reaper has two different Bankais? I don't know, but... Or, may or maybe he has, like, a an alternate Shikai or something. I don't know, but I'd like to see him get another power, or maybe several other powers, be before he happens to die, if he does. Because right now, he's heading through the Spirit Palace with Ichigo, so I think it's likely that we'll see him get at least one other power. Okay. Speaking of Ichigo, Ichigo's not gonna fucking die. He's the main character, no fucking shit. Moving on... I, I know we haven't really seen much of them so far, but I think it's likely that we may see at least one, maybe more, of the Royal Guard members die. If Jua Bak really turns out to be that strong of an opponent, then we might see a few of them, a, a few of them die. I'm not exactly sure which ones, because once again, we haven't seen much of them. We don't know what their powers are. We don't even know what their sh Shikai is. We All we know is that their combined power would be stronger than every unseated officer, seated officer, lieutenant, and captain of the of the entire 13 court guard squads combined, which I assume, you know, at all at their full power combined. That's all we know. We don't know their individual power. All we know is obviously, you know, Individually, they'd probably be stronger than any of the captains, except for maybe Bankai uh, Yamamoto, I'm not too sure about that. But we don't really know the full extent of their individual powers. So I think it would be kind of likely if we see some of, the, some of them die. I don't think we'd see all of them die. That would be kind of 
odd. If I personally think that would be odd if we see saw every all five of them dead in the series, but uh, I think it's likely if we see one, two, maybe even three of them die fighting against Jobok and his Quincy army. But that's just me, okay? Obviously, the Spirit King's not gonna die. He's the what? The progenitor of everything that exists, apparently. He's like a god. He keep excuse me, he maintains balance between Waco Mundo, the world of the living, and the Soul Society. By all accountable rights, he's the strongest character, probably the strongest character in the series. I mean, I don't even foresee Ichigo getting stronger than him. I really don't. That but that's just me. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. Um yeah, but that's just me, once again. What other characters could I see dying? Well, I do see several other captains dying. Uh, namely, and I know he barely escaped death before, but I can... But if things go out the way I'm predicting, I could probably see Kenpachi Zoraki dying. And the way I'm predicting is, is that with this... Uh, Training, he's gonna be going through with Unohana. You know, he'll probably end up learning his Zanpakuto's name and thus getting even stronger because he knows his Zanpakuto better. And then getting his Bonkai unleashing a huge storm of power that could probably beat the head cap, that could probably kill the head captain in Bonkai form when you think about it, considering how strong Zoraki is already. And going up again. You know, f fighting in this war, and then I expect that's how he'll die because all the strain from the power would likely kill even him. If that's the way it's gonna go out, I suspect that if Ken Pachizaraki dies, that will probably be the way he dies. I couldn't see him dying any other way. I really couldn't. Alright? Because. I, I just couldn't. He take, can take so much fucking damage. I just couldn't see him dying any other way, okay? Uh, who, uh, who else could I see dying? I could probably see Byakuya dying just because he barely escaped death before. If he is able to continue fighting. If. If, if, if he's able to continue fighting. I could probably see him ending up dead eventually. And I could definitely see Shunsui ending up dead. Especially if he's like pushed to his limits, has to release his Bankai, and it still doesn't work for some reason. I could definitely see him dying, especially considering, you know, he's the head captain now. Okay. Um, see, who else could I see dying? Oh, God, I know I'm going to get a lot of hate for this. Don't get me wrong, she's my favorite character in the series. Rukia. Why could I see Rukia dead? Well, simply put, even though she's my favorite character in the series, she's weak. I mean, the only way I could see her living in this war, honestly, is if she goes through some sort of training to release her Bankai. That's it, okay? That's the only way I could see her living in this war, is if she learns her Bankai. Even then, it usually takes 10 years to master it, so... I mean, if she learns it, I could definitely see her living, though. Barely, albeit, but I could definitely see her living. Obviously, she won't have 10 years of training. <laughs> I mean, the... Juwabak and his Quincy army isn't gonna wait 10 fucking years. Especially if it's will result in them possibly losing. You know, because we don't know what her Bankai would be or, you know, how, of course, how strong it would be. So, yeah, there you go. But, um... Yeah. Anyways. Rukia is a definite maybe. Maybe. Alright, another character I could probably see dying is Ikaku Madarame. Just simply because... He always sticks with Kenpachi, Zoraki, and if Zoraki's out there using his Bankai in the war, I'm sure Ikaku will want to reveal his Bankai to him just to, just so he doesn't fall too far behind. Like, Ikaku's always been the person who wants to stay behind for fucking uh, Kenpachi. 
uh, fucking uh, Zoraki, but if he gets too far behind, that still irritates him. That still makes him mad. All right. I'm sure he'll want to get a piece of that anyways because he loves fighting just about as much as Zoraki does. So I could definitely see him dying in this war. Other than that, I don't really know of any other characters I could really see dying. Like I said, the only major death there's been in this entire fucking series in terms of protagonists had been the head captain in this arc. And of course, if you, if you want to count it, I guess you technically could. Uh, Lieutenant Sasakibe. But that was at the beginning of the arc, and it was off screen. So there, there you go. Um, I guess that's it for this video. I will be making a video very soon based on my predictions on the future Naruto death. Since we've had, over the course of the series, we've had a surprising amount of Naruto protagonist deaths. Surprising because this is a show, it is a shonen series after all. So very soon I will be making that video probably right after this too, right? So stay tuned for that. I hope, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave in the comments below what you, what you think characters might die if you disagree with any of them I said in this video. Please tell me and tell me why you disagree and please tell me why you might think a certain character might die. Okay, and I hope you enjoyed this video. See you guys. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.